Welcome back everybody to the Johnny Guitar Channel. Today we are playing Baldur's Gate, the first one. And we are here with Liar Jane and her uh, amazing companions. Most of all, the most amazing companion of them all is, of course, Viconia. She is a drow that we picked up in the last episode, a cleric. And, um, yeah, I believe that she is featured in all three Baldur's Gate games. Um, okay, let's, let's, just, let's just deal with that now. Oh, my heart's really not in this. Agreed. Get him. Forget where we are. Where are we? Okay, I know it's the middle of the night, obviously. I feel like the first thing we need to do is rest. So let's go for action. That's not quite it. Let's go for pause. That's not it. It's... There we go. You were startled out of sleep with a chill. Though the night is warm and calm, it is though someone has walked across your grave, and for a moment, you wonder if it was you. With this thought, the ground beneath you opens, and you are swept into the dark. When light returns, you do not find its presence comforting. Before you lay the empty mines of Nashkel, cleansed by your previous passage, you move through walls and floors alike, descending deeper and deeper, until a bloated figure comes into view. Mullahe, in no better shape than you left him, stands motionless before you. Held from whatever afterlife calls it, this foul apparition has been waiting for you. A dagger of bone hovers before it, ready for a willing hand to drive it deep. Had this creature breath, you were sure it would be hurling curses. It waits for the kill, a death beyond death, and knows no hope. You turn your back on the blade, and it clatters to the floor. Punishment enough shall find this creature in the land of the dead. You need not inflict any more upon him. Surprised and thankful, the visage of Mullahe hobbles forward and through you, off to whatever fate it deserves. Perhaps for safekeeping, it leaves a part of itself behind. It is a spark of hope that fills a space within you, a dagger-shaped hole you did not know was empty. There is a cry of rage from the depths, and the dagger of bone launches itself through the air. Your heart, its target. You awake just as it should have struck, and the cold sweat that covers you stings your eyes. A disapproving voice lingers in your ears, though it should have disappeared with the dream. You will learn. Okay, that was cool. The forest makes me feel that was really cool. Um, okay, well, definitely a lot is going on with Liar Jane. Um, in the last episode, though, we beat up some bandits or something, and we figured out that the person behind the iron shortage, which is, like, economically collapsing the civilization or something, the person behind the iron shortage is a man named Saravok. And obviously, as that kind of dream sequence played out, we learn that there's more going on with Liar Jane. Uh, she, of course, was an orphan, adopted. But her true parentage, I don't know, some, something special is going on. Okay, before we go there, I do want to check out the journal. The investigation of the bandit camp has directed me to Cloakwood. It appears there is a competing iron mine hidden somewhere deep within the forest. Cloakwood, you say? Is that Cloakwood? Oh no, Cloakwood is here. Unreachable. I want to go check out what... Okay, it would be nice to go to an inn. 28 hours, that's crazy. 
44 hours. I mean, I guess we're not on it. It's not like Fallout 1 where we're on a time limit. Okay. Back. Friendly arm in. I, must rest. I shall collapse from exhaustion before I fall on the battlefield. Oh, are you guys all tired? Because we just traveled for 48 freaking hours. Can I rest here? Nice. Okay. No sense in paying for an inn. Though I do want to find a merchant. Does everyone feel good? Everyone feel good about that? Is it now the evening, though? I think that's where we screwed ourselves over, you guys. Oh! This is a sudden shift to darkness. Okay, well, this is not great, because now I fear that none of the merchants will be none of the merchant shops will be open i don't know though how this game does that um you know how a lot of games the merchants will go to bed in the middle of the night i don't know how uh this game works okay, okay i do know that we need to go somewhere oh there wonder Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Well met, young one. I trust thou art well. I have heard many things about thee in the past few ten days, and I am most impressed. Um, what have you heard? All good things, I hope. That would depend on whom thou would ask, now wouldn't it? For the most part, it would appear that thine actions are well-intentioned and are therefore received as such. Much is as I would have done, though perhaps not using the same method. Likely the clues also point thee in the same direction I would go. Yeah, I don't need your help, buddy. I've already got a full, full, uh... Fear not, I was not presuming to tell thee where to go, for thou art more than capable. I will leave thee to thy travels. Luck be with thee, for thou've made some vengeful enemies. Some that thou some that thou've yet to meet, and some as close as thine own heart. Okay. Oh, is that my second time running into him? I believe it is actually. I believe it is. Okay, let us get into the tower. Worry not. I do not I do not worry with you, Jane. Okay. Agreed. Oh, so now you come back after making me walk all the way here by myself? Well, I'll just have you know that it'll take more than a... Oh, who am I kidding? I don't want to run into any more of those red wizards by myself. You will let me join you, won't you? Please? Oh, Nira. Um, Nira is the... I think she's a wild mage. No, I'm just passing through. Sorry. Typical. And I thought wild magic was unreliable. And I, I'm trying to build a specific party because um, I'm trying to get all characters that will survive to Baldur's Gate 2. You see, in Baldur's Gate 2, there are certain characters you start the game with. I think Baldur's Gate 2 takes place shortly after this particular game ends, even though I've never played this one. I've played Baldur's Gate 2. Anyways, you start with certain companions, or you start near certain companions, at least, in the same region. I kind of want to, like, you know, create that type of group. Anyways. Iron is the lifeblood of this whole region, and it's sure painful to get one scarce. So what can I do for you? What do you have to sell? Okay, I actually would like to buy and sell. Oh, you've got a lot of money. Okay, I have... Do I have a lot to sell you? Let's see. Or is that my money? I think that might be my money. 5,000 gold. Yeah, sure. 25. Take it. I don't care. Some of the stuff, um, you know, I just carry on me, but I never seem to actually use it. Very rarely do I use it. Let's I 
I am selling stuff, right? Sell. Where is my money, though? Where is the amount of money that I have? It can't be that. Okay, I guess we're just, I've been picking up a lot. I think I, I do remember letting you guys know that I find scrolls are really easy money makers. And sell that chainmail. She must be wearing something different. I have to be careful because I'm not sure if I can sell stuff. Like, if is he using this sword currently, or is that just an extra sword he has? I don't know. Either way, this is good money. I haven't fully found out what I like to spend money on in this game, but I'm sure... I'll figure that out soon enough. Okay, what else? Honestly, with Zahn, he is my one sorcerer, my one pure magic user. I kind of don't mind him having... Um, lots of scrolls on him. I mean, if anyone should have lots of scrolls, it should be Zahn. Okay, Baconia has nothing. Okay, I feel good about that uh, whole exchange. Okay, let's do a little bit more here. Let's check out the inventory. Short sword plus one, I love it. Mage Robe of Fire Resistance. So I didn't have to use an Identify spell on that. That's because Jane, Liar Jane, is of course a Scald Bard, meaning she has magic, um, she has like a lore knowledge. That's it, it's, it's lore knowledge. So before we use, We should always have Jane check stuff out before we use a identity identify scroll. Okay. Cool. Not usable by a bunch of stuff. Okay, and then as we can see for this item, Jane is not able to get any lore knowledge off of it, so now we'll move it back to Zahn, and I believe Zahn has a... You don't have a spell, son of a bitch. Imowen. Imowen might have a spell. We just need to take her... her leather armor off, and suddenly she... We're gonna, uh, I think I'd rather identify these gauntlets. Nothing? Music you have here in the tavern is really great, you guys. Okay. Now, I think I can get items identified for me at a... I don't know, somewhere, somewhere. It's gotta be somewhere. What about you, Vaconia? Let's start let's start giving Vaconia stuff. Oh, 
Harwar plus one. It does extra damage to undead. It's a one-handed weapon. Not usable by Cleric Druid. Okay. But it looks like it would be... Is he not allowed to use it? Because he's got just a regular longsword. Harwar plus one. Let's look at this again. Let's make sure it's not cursed. Okay. It's got extra Thacko, extra damage to undead. And a fighter can totally use it. And then with you... You've got plate mail for some reason. And a quarter staff. Okay. Okay, Vaconia. Oh no, certain people can use the oil of speed, huh? Okay. We're done here, everybody. Let's get the hell out of here. Because remember, we are heading to Cloakwood. Oh yes. We've got the... Oh, oh, the story has begun already. We're getting close. Figuring out the iron shortage. Which... I kind of like that idea of the story beginning. I mean, the bigger story. There's also the smaller story of Liar Jane, who she truly is. What the definition of family is. Those are all also a story going on. But the larger story is definitely the iron shortage and how people are using it to eco economically ruin this nation. And uh, rise to power. Okay, whatever, whatever. Worry Let's just not. Keep moving. Worry not. Cloakwood. Okay, once again, whenever you're on a new map, it's hard to tell what way you should go. It's a bird. Okay. We got spiders. Let's dive on in to spider kill. For sure! <laughs> Suffer in my storm. Worry not. Oh, here we go. Palin, huh? Hello. I can't believe they killed Elbin, those bastards. They're going to pay. Okay, what about you? Hello. Balqua. They may call themselves druids, but they're no better than wild animals. Okay. So something is a myth. Aldis? You, you there. there. Identify yourselves. Give me a moment. Oh, I apologize for my rudeness. I mistook you for someone else. Let me introduce myself. I am Aldith Sashenstar. You must understand that at the moment I am under a terrible amount of stress. You see, my dear ma'am, there is a group of uncouth savages that have declared their intention of killing my friends and me. I've been holed up in this cavern for several days and have lacked the wherewithal to try to make an escape. Perhaps you kind folks would help a fellow in trouble. Yeah... I always feel like this is a test or I'm being tricked, but yeah, I'll help. Good, I'm glad you had the sense of decency to help a man in my situation. Let me explain my predicament. My friends and I come here every year to do some sport hunting. This year, however, a group of woodland savages threatened us with bodily harm if we did not stop our hunting trip. Being civilized men, we realize that it's well within our rights to hunt where we damn well please. After a few more days of hunting, the crass woodsman lost all pretense of humanity and murdered Elbin, one of my oldest friends. I'm sure that they plan to attack our cottage here, so we had best be prepared. I think I'm going to side with the woodland creatures, if we're being honest. I have no quarrel with those who respect my forest. 
Seniad. Trespassers and butchers of our wood, I, Seniad, have come to administer the punishment that you have brought down upon yourselves. Yet who are the ones that stand beside you? With them we have no quarrel. It is now that you it is now to you that I speak. These men have most likely duped you into protecting their sorry hides. They have most likely told, not told, of the druid they have slain in cold blood. I will allow you to rethink your earlier decision and leave these men to their most deserved fate. Do not listen to these slavering wild men, my dear friends. They lie, they lie as befits the uncultured barbarians that they are. Jaira. Seniad, it's good to see you once more. Oh, so Jaira, one of my best friends, is friends with Seniad. Oh, we're definitely siding with the woodsmen. Screw because these humans here are just kind of like rich city folk. Screw you guys. Jaira, you are most welcome among us. The trees have missed your gentle care. Will you aid us against these barbaric interlopers? I could do no less, liar Jane. Sorry, Aldeth, but we're siding with the druids. They have this great aloe vera balm there they're giving away samples of and my ar armor has been chafing a bit you know okay otherwise i could try to come to a peaceful solution nah nah there's something inside jane something inside liar jane that's growing a sense of aggression for every monster or bandit that she takes down she simply wants more what? Have you gone mad? Throwing your lot in with a bad band of madmen? You treacherous savages! You will suffer for your foolishness. I will deal with Seniad after I kill you. Doubt it. Doubt it. Okay, everybody just slaughter that guy to the best of your ability. He'll probably die immediately. Yeah, we all hit him at once. That was amazing. Dang it, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just... There we go. Ooh, he had a lot of gold on him. What about this sword? Um, I don't really have anyone currently who uses a bastard sword. Okay, Seniod. Wait. I really think that Duke Elton should bring in part of the Flaming Fist and put down these men of the... Okay. Let's go ahead and go into this cottage. Let's just check out this dude's college. Cottage. That's the door. Huh. Actually looks Agreed. bigger on the outside. Oh. Imoen, would you be a deer? I've that. done had enough of this. Lock picking failed, huh? Let's go ahead and go to Imowin and let's level her up. Okay, we have one more slot. Because she's not a fighter, she could only get one proficiency in each weapon. So she already has short bow and short sword, which is kinda. Could give her two handed weapon style. You know, let's give her long sword. She's not that strong, but there's usually pretty good long swords. I think I actually have an extra long sword. Okay. Now let's put some of these points into opening locks.
There you go. Emma, when you are a beast. Okay, go ahead and unlock it. You have much higher. Seriously? Okay. First, go stealthy. I don't know if this helps, but maybe it does. Now, find traps or illusions. Now, unlock that bitch. Wow. Okay. That is like one of the hardest locks I've ever had to deal with, honestly. Okay, well you guys are welcome that we uh, helped you murder that guy. the edge. Found the edge, everybody. What do we got here? Loy. All right. Oh, my heart's really not in this. Oh, my blade my will cut really you down to size. Okay, just keep killing him. Oh, my heart's really not in this. <laughs> Your doom approaches. Okay, let's find a way around this river. There's definitely going to be a bridge of some sort. There we go, look at that, easy find. Let's go ahead and check out the map. Okay, awesome. Okay, this is the Soul Bridge. Oh, travelers, hold a moment. It's refreshing to find other people in this wood. I am Koran, thief and archer. I've been alone in the, the wilderness for far too long. I wouldn't mind returning to the big city, but have yet to collect my bounty. I'd share the reward with a lot of you if you would help hasten the hunt. You interested in hearing more? You know what? Yeah. Good. I'm glad you're smart enough to recognize opportunity when it comes knocking. The deal is this. I've been hired out by the mayor of Baragos to hunt down a great winged dragon that's been plaguing the caravan routes. He's offering 2,000 gold for its head. Now before you get cold feet, let me allay your fears. The only descriptions of the beast have always mentioned its deadly barbed tail. From what I know about dragons, they don't have barbs on their tails. That's something unique to wyverns. So all we have to do is find this wyvern's nest and kill it. Our only worries are if it has friends over for dinner. So what's your decision, yay or nay? You know what, I will totally hunt down a wyvern. Very well, we shouldn't tarry any longer. Let's collect the head of the soon-to-be-sorry wyverns. What, what, wyverns? Oh, I gotta remove someone, okay. Shoot. Okay, um, you know what, Zan? You have kind of been complaining this entire time. You kept being like, oh, I don't like this. This isn't cool. So you're out. I know that you have a really cool sword, and I know that you have really cool, like, robes, but you're out. Okay, now I'm done. Done with that. Okay. We have decided to join up with an elf named Karand hunting down a 
While my stay with you is admittedly fruitless, it has at least been fun. I might even enjoy sharing another ill-fated adventure with you. Okay, but where are you going to be? The friendly arm ends, perhaps? Okay. Let's go ahead and check out this Kor Koran character. He looks weird. He is... Fighter Thief? Okay. I don't mind, I'll take another thief. I do want to check out the journal. Okay, so I'm I'm in Cloakwood right now, so I guess we're still looking for a mine. Otherwise, I've agreed to help. Oof. I did not agree. I'm pretty sure I murdered that guy. We have decided to join up. There's substantial. We can collect reward just east. We can collect a reward just east of Barakos at the Temper Temple of Lathander. Okay. But where is the Wyvern Cave? I bet the mine that I'm looking for, and the Wyvern Cage are the. Do I keep saying that wrong, everybody? Wyvern, Wyvern. Anyways, I bet they're one in the same cave, everybody, okay? I bet it's the same location. I'm not excited that you guys didn't really keep Jane protected. Oh, 16 hours from here, there's another part of Cloakwood. Okay. What about the um, Wyvern Cave? Has that appeared on my map yet? What are these purple areas? Are those... Where's Baragos? Okay, I guess I don't fully understand how to find my quests, like, okay, well, let's go to the other section of Cloakwood, I guess. Enemies and must defend yourself. Oh, I am surrounded by enemies and must defend myself. Okay, let's do it. Slaughter them. Slaughter them all. The slaughter is nigh. Thank you, Vakoni. Agreed. What is needed? Um, Vakonia, could you go ahead and heal Koran, please? Thank you, Ed. He is Koran. Yeah, heal him. And while we're here... Let's check out Vaconia's priest spells. Maybe, yeah, these are the ones we should be using more. Okay, so you're good at commanding people and healing them. What else? Oh, here we go. Um, I think with Vaconia, Flame Blade is usually pretty useful. What is draw upon holy might? Strength and constitution go up by one. Okay, let's do... Sp no, let's do Flame Blade. That's good for when we're fighting, like, Ghost. And let's do Hold Person, because Hold Person is always useful. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Now, Vaconia, do you have Mage spells? She does not. Hmm. 
Now, Martha. Worry not. Up, 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 up. Which one of you set off that trap? Trap, Khalid, is that you? Oh no, that's Jayira. Come on, Jayira. You must gather your party before venturing forth. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Jayira, I would love for you to stop being stuck in the web field that has appeared. That would really be great. That would really be great. Gather your party before venturing forth. Seriously, Jada? You must gather your party before venturing forth. Okay, you got it? You must gather your party before venturing forth. Worry not. Wait, this is Cloak... No, wait, I'm right next to Cloakwood. Okay. Here we go. A man named Tibber here. Wait. Worry not. Excuse me. Please let me speak before you attack. Hello, fellow travelers. I'm Tibber. Could could I take up some of your time? I would be very grateful if you would just listen to. If you would just help me. Um, what troubles you, stranger? Thank you, thank you. It's my brother. You see, he and I went into the cloak wood to clear the woods of the spider colony that infests it. I know it sounds foolish, but my brother had found the sword Spider's Bane. The, s the sword was created to kill spiders, and we thought we could become famous, the heroes of Cloakwood and all that. But my brother hasn't returned yet, and it's been more than a week. Please, could you go into the woods and find him for me? My mother would be so shattered if Chelak were to be dead. Okay, yeah, I'll find him. Please search quickly. His name is Chelak. Be careful. Okay. We got a lot going on. We got to uh, fight some spiders. Pretty much gonna be stuck in this for a while. We are all going to be stuck in this for a while. Okay. Everybody turned red is because I'm I've got J, uh, the main character I was viewing the world through was Khalid and he's an elf so of course he has like night vision or infrared vision something like that okay. not sure what we're gonna find around here what is that more edder cats agreed Scimitar, long curved blade, it's a recovery ninja type, requires Okay, I want to look at them when they're in her inventory to see if that... Dang it, I wish we had a uh, frickin'... 
Oh, I'm a okay. Cursed ring of slight monsters and the iron form. Changes the wearer's appearance to that of a zombie. Charisma may only be removed by a remove curse spell. Oh, interesting. The little cursed ring. I wonder if that was the body of the that dude's brother, Chelak. I feel like there would have been a quest uh, update if it had been. Can't keep slaying you guys. There's like a lot of like secret little paths on this particular part of the map. A lot of little secret corners. For the fallen! Who is whistling? Which one of you guys is whistling every time? Those were phase spiders. That was cool teleporting spiders. Keep running. Keep. Oh god. Keep going. We'll wait. We'll wait until you guys are done. Oh, that's cool. I think I just saw some fish. There we go. There's a little animation for fish jumping in and out of the water. Freaking adorable. Well, as we, um. As we take a moment here, uh, this kind of reminds me of one of the first kind of RPG fantasy games I played, which would have been Ultima Online. Uh, I remember playing that game and just loving it. It was such a cool game. And in some ways, it was pretty similar to this. Are you guys still stuck? We found the mine and or the wyvern cave. You have Emerald? Did you detect a trap, Emoen? I feel like it said... Oh, there we go. You did it. Nice. Okay, let's do action. Let's go to this and let's disarm this that trap. A little bit of experience for you. Let's go ahead though and take a moment and level up Corin. Okay, looks like you are a longsword user. Awesome, good to know. And let's go ahead and move your to round out some of these numbers for now. I feel like detect illusions should be higher. Like someone should be detecting illusions. It's not going to be me. He's got really high moves silently, which is interesting. And he's got high charisma. That's interesting. 
interesting character, Corin. Let's go ahead and pop into... Wait, every time we do that... Okay, first off... If that's the entrance to the mine, I feel like it's within our best interest to still kind of explore some of the other My parts blade of the map. Oh, shit. Shit, no, no, you guys got this. Okay. Why are the Edder caps not... Okay, Vaconia. I need you to desperately heal Jaira. Where's Jaira? Okay, heal Jaira. Shit. Okay, heal her. Listen. Agreed. Okay, good job, you guys. This is kind of a pretty amazing spell. Do you guys have that spell, the web spell? I feel like it feels super useful. Okay, I don't know what I accidentally did there. What is needed? C uh, can I help you? Okay, Moen. This way. Oh shit, keep running, keep running, keep running. Damn it. Emily, where were you on that one? Where were you? Where were you? Okay, everybody, so yeah, it looks like we've got a little more of this map to... Let's see here. Okay, it looks like we're probably almost done. We'll probably be able to explore a little bit over there. But more importantly, we're going to be able to enter this mine, which... I'm thinking is also the Wyvern Cave. I feel like it's going to be a two-in-one. It's going to be an illegal mining operation, as well as a Wyvern Cave. It's just how I feel about that. It's just how I feel. Damn, it's the top of the map. Okay, we're going to... Oh. Crap, we're gonna have to end up going this way, aren't we? Okay. And let's just clear out because everybody I like to clear out the map. Damn it, damn it. You know what this means? I think this means we just need to move slowly. You know what I mean? Just we need to stop trying to hurry ahead so much, you know? Take our time. Move slowly. You have need of me? Oh, my heart's really not in this. Come on, Khalid. Khalid's dialogue is so timid and passive, but... He himself is he's a pretty strong character, a fighter. Okay. Come on, Khalid, Vaconia. Nice, you guys are you guys are stars.
Is everyone still stuck over there, you guys? So yeah, everybody, I think we're going to call it an episode here, but in the next episode, and once again, if you've been watching this uh, far into the video, thank you very much. Um, definitely like, subscribe if you haven't. The Johnny Guitar channel is growing slowly but surely, and I'm having a real fun time with it. We are going to continue playing Baldur's Gate 3, of course. Just the more into Bal... Did I just get struck by lightning? Did I just get struck... Thank you for watching the Johnny Guitar channel. We will see you next time we play Baldur's Gate.